This is Craig Fear with Fearless Eating. I am the author of Fearless Broths and Soups, and today is the first recipe from the chapter on using simple ground meats in soups, so things like meatballs, sausages, and today we're doing a Portuguese kale soup, one of my favorites, and, and in this recipe we're using a chorizo sausage, a nice kind of spicy, smoky uh, sausage. So we got the chorizo sausage right here. Uh, the kale, so a whole bunch of kale, one bunch of kale I should say, chopped kind of into thin strips. Uh, about three to four potatoes chopped. Uh, one uh, whole onion diced. Uh, about three to four cloves of garlic. Some oregano and bay leaves. And I'm using beef broth. You can certainly use other types of broth like a chicken broth is perfectly fine to use in this recipe or a pork broth. Um, so that's what we're using today. Very simple three steps. Step one I'm going to do right now, and that's just to get the onion and the garlic simmering in some olive oil, which I got warming up. So I'll get this onion simmering right here over like a medium heat. I'll get this going for uh, about four to five minutes, and the last minute I'll add in the garlic. And then we'll come back and I'll show you what step two is in a few minutes. All right, so the onions and the garlic have been simmering for about four or five minutes. Now step two is to add in the broth the spices, and the potatoes. So I got my beef broth ready to go here, about two quarts. And I'll add in this. And of course, I'm gonna bring the, the beef broth up to a, a, a simmer before I add in the potatoes. All right, so I'll turn the heat up to high, maybe cover that, and get it to a little bit of a, a boil. And then um, also add in, I'll add in the, uh, the oregano. I'll use about two tablespoons dried oregano, a few bay leaves. Mix that around in there, and once that comes to a boil, I'll add in my potatoes, and I'll let that simmer for about 10-15 minutes until the potatoes are cooked, and that's really the longest step, and after that, it's just adding in the kale and the chorizo, and that's really it. So I'll check back uh, in about 10-15 minutes once the potatoes are ready, and we'll finish it off with the last step. Okay, the last step, step three. So. The, uh, the soup has been simmering for about 10-15 minutes with the potatoes, they're nice and tender. And the last step is just to add in the chorizo. So add that in. And the kale. Now this is a whole bunch of kale and um, it will, it seems like it's a lot, but it will cook down in the broth. So this seems like a lot, but it'll really kind of uh, wilt in there. And I'm gonna let this all cook together for about another 10 minutes. And then after that, that's it. We'll just season it up with a little salt and pepper. And voila, a nice, beautiful Portuguese kale soup. All right, look at that, look beautiful. Coming together really nice. All right, so this is it, our Portuguese kale soup. And that look great? So we got uh, the trees of the potatoes, the onions, um, and the kale. All that flavor has amalgamated together. It's a nice kind of spicy, smoky soup. You can finish it off with a little parsley and a little salt and pepper. And I'm ready to eat. Now I just want to say you can, you can uh, add all sorts of variation to this, other veggies, carrots, celery. Um, a lot of Portuguese kale recipes will include things like kidney beans and tomatoes. I went for a very kind of straightforward basic recipe, but even as simple as this is, it is just, um, there's so much flavor in it. Oh yeah, let's see here. Mmm, mmm, yep. So good, that's it, Portuguese kale soup. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers. Mmm.